Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. And this week on the old Magic Man about, we've got an old Corgi, Riley Pathfinder, in the red. As you can see, watch it go around, it's all um, a lot of paint loss on it. Play worn, no tyres, but the windscreen is in good condition, although it's dirty. Uh, so there you go, fairly basic model. I don't think there's an interior in this, but we'll have a check. As you watch this go around, I'd just like to welcome any new friends of the channel. Welcome aboard, thank you very much, and welcome back, all the old friends of the channel. Thanks for sticking with me, much appreciated. Right, let's get this off the bench without messing about, and have a look, see what we can do with it. Okay, here we go, on the bench. Here, Gorgi Toys, Riley Pathfinder. There you go. Got the polished hubs. Windscreen's okay. It's I don't know if it's got. Looks like it's got sand inside it. Uh, there's no interiors in this because it's an early one. Solid bumper, so there's nothing to go bad there. So yeah, very good. We'll do it. I'm not sure the colour yet. Might do it red again. Uh, if not, I'll have a look at Google Images and see what we can come up with. Okay, uh, I'm not sure the number. That will be in the in the captions at the beginning. So, right, let's have a look. See what we can do here. See what we can do here. See if we can get this off here. Nice and steady. Just a bit more. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Yeah, these are okay because they've got, they got little dimples in the tops of the rivets. So you can just go straight in and take the mushroom off. Let's see if that's enough, shall we? Shall we see if that is enough? Yep, that's all right. There, let's try the back. We might have to exert a bit more pressure on the back. It's going. Yep, that one's gone. And that one's gone. There you go. Okay, lift her off. Oh, right, we got a spare wheel, spare tyre. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, these are a different sort of hub again. I've not seen. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah, these are a different sort of hub. Very narrow in there. Look. Okay, let's get. That's that one. I have to try and prise these off here. Uh, either prise them off or heat them off. I haven't got a puller. Some people have got pullers. I've got one, but I think it's a bit too big to get in there. Uh, but I can just heat them, pull them off anyway, so that's not a problem. You've seen me that before. Base is rusty, but we can clean that up. It's only light, it's only light rust. It's not too bad. So that's that. That's that. I need to. Uh, forgot about that, don't I? There's a, there's a tyre. There's a tyre. Wait, come here. Yeah, that'll go on there. I think. Yeah, I'll mess about with that. Yeah. I need to get my soldering on, heated up. I forgot all about that. And as you can see, I'll just show you this because... See, look, this has not been touched. You can see the crack in it. Look, along there, look. Coming along there. It's all because when they press this in, if that windscreen's not sitting perfectly flat, which nine times out of ten they probably won't be, when they exert pressure on the press, it cracks. That is just, as you can see, you can just see where my finger is there. It's just poking its little neck through there. 
there. So, but you can see it doesn't sit flat anyway. Look. Yeah, it's got a rock on it. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to get my soldering iron warmed up and then we'll come back to you. Okay, let's see if this is hot enough. Should be somewhere near it. I'm hoping. Let's have a look, see. That's just a bit more. It's a tough old screen, this one. There you go. She's out. Sometimes these thick, older, thicker screens are harder. So what you do now, that seal that crack with the heat. What you do now, before you put it back in, you just move off the top. As you can see, it's filthy. And then you just clean around that. That just comes off with a screwdriver, clean it off. And then your screen will fit over the top of there. Because your hole's now big enough. Yeah, you just clean it off with something sharp. I'm just attacking it with a screwdriver. So yeah, you get it off like that anyway. So there you go. Job done. Finished. Ready for the stripper. All right. You can use a couple of methods to pull this apart. You can use the heat with those little, you know, kitchen torch things. Um, blow lamp type of things. Uh, heat it up and pull it off. Or you can use a puller. Now these pullers, I've got two. I've got this one and the one what's in here, which is that shape one. Unfortunately, this one won't go in here because the, the, the pin is different to it and it's a bit awkward to get in. I got these from Expo. Uh, I used I use these on my model railways. Well, so model rails. I use them on when I'm, I'm doing them. Um, Restoring trying locomotives. Pull the wheels off. Yeah, so this has got a slot in it. And I may have already done that. You just, you just put that under the slot there. And then wind the pin in. And it comes out. As you can see, it's got a knurled thing to it. So when you put it back in again. If you just feel it round, you'll feel where the previous notch was, and you can push it back on or tap it back on. All right. I don't need to take that end off because I'll put that in the drill, spin it up, clean it up, and uh, and what have you. Okay, and I'll put this on a spare axle and do the same. So there you go. That's that, and I won't take these apart either. Okay. I'll just clamp them and spin them, clean them up. Okay. But I might just show you for demonstration purposes. It might work on this one because it's not in the chassis. Probably won't now. I've not got it right, but... There you go. Let's do that. And it's off. Okay. That's if you haven't got a heat thing. So that's off. There you go. I'm not saying it fits on all axles. But we have to try it. With this one, you get a, a second pin, which is slightly thicker. You just unscrew this one and screw that back in. Uh, not that expensive. You'll probably get them off Amazon or eBay or something. Ex look on Expo drills and tools and stuff. It's a worm pinion gear puller set. I've had this for a while. Like I say, I use it for taking the wheels off for trying locomotives and stuff like this. And you know, there's this one, miniature gear puller. But that's a different shape altogether, that one. As you can see. Alright. So there you go. Stripping time. 
Here we go then. The old Riley Pathfinder on a corgi. All the paint come off. It didn't take long to get that paint off. It's not a bad condition. It's got a little bit of doing on there. I think I'm just going to... I've wire brushed it all now, just so I can get a good look at it. Uh, sides are okay, no major blemishes. I've put a sander over the roof already. Uh, I might run a sander over the bonnet because there's a few lumps appearing there. So I've just got measles. Uh, and there's a casting line I've got to get rid of. I want to get rid of there. Either side of that boot emblem. Uh, it's not an emblem, is it? That's uh, where the number plate light is in there. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see it there. So that's the only real one to, to worry about. To be honest with you. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to get that done. And get it in primer. Base is all cleaned up. So that wants uh, a final clean. Left lady spirits. Painted that. Okay, so it's primer time. Primer time. Prime time. Here we are then. Out of the paint. This is a Ford Burgundy Red. Ford Maroon Red. I think. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a Ford Maroon Red, this one. I didn't want to go with a bright red. I've done enough bright red vehicles for a while, so I thought, yeah, and I've seen a couple of these in uh, Google Images, the real versions with, like, this uh, burgundy colour. So we're all done, and we're all lacquered. So let me just bring the camera up a second. That's it. Yeah, so we've got some detail painting to do now. Grill, bumper, headlights... The little indicators, that side, and spotlights in the middle, and on the back, there was two little lights there, there, and there, there, and there, and later versions, as later versions, or you could add it on yourself, with a little light at the back there. So yeah, these aren't great at the back here, tiny, but there we go. We've got some. So I've got a bit of muck on my hands, but I've just been doing deconstructing. So yeah, she's all right. In fact, I might leave this for a bit longer. Um, yeah, I don't want to scratch the front of that. Yeah, okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some detail painting. Okay. So I've got the silver out. And uh, with brushes. I just want to check that. We're going to try and clean that off. It's not mucky. It's just it looks like it might be a bit still soft. So I'm not going to muss, muck about with it too much. If it is, I'll leave it for another 24 hours. Okay, then. Here we go. Got the glove on. We got the glove on. Right. That's our ways to show, show it all. It takes a long, 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 long time. Here we go, I've got a bumper. Here we go, get a nice smooth coat on there first. Nice car this Riley. I remember seeing it about when I was a youngster. Lots of different colours. There was they did two tone, you could get a two tone as you wanted to. But it just didn't look to me, it didn't look right in a two tone. You know certain cars look right in a certain colour and a certain style and the other cars don't I need to shake my tin up a bit more I think Shh, 
<laughs> Certainly better now I've got my eyes fixed. I've got clarity of vision before I couldn't see. It was like looking for a smoky room, you know? Strange how it all works. But we're done. A lot to join underneath there, get them out of the way. Along there. Three little jobbies on that. Just keep turning it around in your hand. Here we go. You can probably hear the mowers in the background. It's grass cutting season, isn't it? Everybody's out with the mowers. Coming on. It's coming on, it's coming on. What are we on? Four minutes in right here for a minute or two. Just trying to get on the top of the bumper. There you go. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that'll do, John. I should probably give this a bit of a second coat because I've just put some I just put some thinners in my paint and I could have done with mixing it a bit more especially with this um, burgundy showing through but that's not a problem we can do it You can do it if you really want. Yeah, baby, yeah. Keep sorry, I keep moving that shot because I'm going over that side. I'm going to give it a second coat. I'll thin this down, go over with it, and smooth it off as best I can before we take the second coat on.
it was getting there. <coughs> right. I'm going to carry on doing this. You see me doing enough of that. And I do it every time, every week. So, got a lot to do here. Lights, bumper, grill, odds and sods. So, it's going to take me a good hour, I would say, to do this. So, I'll catch you when it's done. Here we are then, all done. It's the front, got a number plate on it. A lot of chrome on the front. Then the door handle, the door handles on this. The door handles on this are high up. On this. That's the back. We're done. So now, I've got the windscreen. I'm going to put the polished window unit in I need to glue it and leave it before I touch it again so I don't want to put it together and it just fall out so I'm going to glue this now and I'll come back to you it won't take five minutes to assemble this because everything's done really tires are back on on there so bear with me while I just do this here we go then let's get this thing put together Windscreen should be set now. It's not the greatest fitting windscreen in the world, I must admit. But it's gone back where it should have gone, so. Right. Front wheels in. I've already done a back axle. All you do is with these, just squeeze them back on. So it ain't rocket science, is it, really? All right, let's get this right. Look at the old super duper in it. See how we get on. in that one get in there that's it yeah the hole was at a slightly different angle on that one that's why it was struggling a bit my expert fucking drilling Right, okay, there you go. We'll get it on the, uh, we're going we're gonna to use the garage. We're going to get it on Harrison's garage forecourt in a minute. This is what we started with. Corgi Toys Riley Pathfinder in uh, play worn condition, as you can see. So now have a look, see how it all ended up. Have a look at this. Here we are then, all done and dusted. Corgi Toys Riley Pathfinder in a Ford, in a Ford Burgundy and Maroon Red. I can't remember what I've done it in now. Anyway, here you go. Okay, and this also will double up as a um, this month's entry to the DMC challenge which is any corgi toy so i chose this well hope you like this one look forward to your comments and we'll see you again next week with another restoration okay okay so everybody be uh
be lucky, be happy, and enjoy whatever you're doing. And I'll see you again next week. So bye for now. See you later. And in out and...